I think that the, the base of my anger really, really has come through. The more that I recognize it and that I've had to live with it is if you do something in your life, you know you've done it. And I know that he knows that he did it. For the simple reason, there was so much blood on those sheets. And logic has me thinking today, what did he do with the sheets in the hotel room? What did he do? When I came back and he looked at me, what was he thinking? What was he thinking? I didn't understand that grimaced look. And I would love those answers. I would like to know what happens in those situations that you just take somebody by force, you have your way with them. Um, what do you do with, with that evidence? What, do you, what did you do with that? So if you were to be able to meet Tom Jones now face to face, what would you say to him? Probably the first question I'd ask him is, what did you do with the sheets? <laughs> Just out of curiosity, if nothing else. Because that is that, that completely throws me into an conf even more confused state. Because if other people were around, whether he got rid of them, if it was housekeeping, if it was his bodyguard or anything, somebody else then clearly knows also what went down. Did you burn them? Did you dump them in the garbage? What happens? You're in a hotel, a five-star hotel. I'm a 14-year-old child and you've just taken my innocence. You've actually taken my childhood away from me. What did you do with that evidence? Now, a few years ago, in 2010, he, he came back for the first time. Do you want to just say it was the first time and what happened then? <sighs> In 2010, I received a phone call from a friend of mine, and she said to me, you're not going to believe this, have a look out of your balcony window, which I did. She, she didn't tell me what it was at first. And I looked out the balcony window, and larger than life, there were huge posters on every single lamppost, right down the street. And it was a, a close-up of his face, uh, announcing his coming tour to South Africa in 2010. And my body just went cold, I completely iced up. And at the same time, I thought, you know what, I need to actually go and see this show. I need closure. I need to see this show. In fact, you know what, I want to see this man after the show. And I want to look him in the eye. And I want him to tell me or negate or deny that he ever knew me in 1976. I, I, I started building up a strength, an inner power and a strength and a confidence suddenly out of the blue. And... Um, I went to hit my book tickets and I went to the show that evening with a whole, lot of, a whole lot of people and some close friends and the show started. Um, all I remember hearing is this friend of mine from my left ear going, oh God, he's here, he's here, here he comes, here he comes. And I stared at the stage and the dynamics today are very different with the lighting effects and all the musicians and everything else. and. He started the show with a couple of numbers from his new album, 24 Hours. And I've never negated not liking his voice or anything. I think he's, I think he's absolutely wonderful with that. But he then finished around the third song or fourth song. And he said, well, it's the first time I've been back in Cape Town, South Africa, since 1976. And that broke me. I, he went straight off into singing Thunderball and I cracked and I cried and I cried and I cried and I don't know what people must have thought around me um, but I couldn't gain, I couldn't recompose myself so I just heard the back of the show, his voice, I didn't even see anything else and as the show ended I immediately turned around and I said right we're going backstage and I was very strongly recommended not to. They said in your space, in your head space, we don't know, you know, what you're capable of and and I felt again, you're blocking me. I just want to have closure. That's all I'm asking. I've been asked over the years from all aspects to talk about the story. I've tried to tell the story. Nobody's taken it down and all I want to do is just closure. I want to look this man in the eye and I want to ask him about that comment that he was quoted in that book about being a child or a sheep. And I was basically shuttled straight out of the theatre and taken home. 
So it felt very unclosed, the situation. However, let's talk about the statute of limitations. Um, I know that there was a prescription time of 21 years, but I believe that that was dropped in South Africa um, and in the UK, particularly through Operation Nutri, with regards to the Vatican, the Pope, the bishops, um, all of the, the sexual abuse that had been going on, the Roman Polanski case that, that was on at the time, um, all of this just culminated into a massive exodus of let's rehash the laws because we need to expose certain people. And they did away, um, as far as I'm led to believe, with, with a lot of this, which allowed me to come forward and actually speak. Okay, so I need you to say that again because not once did you say statute of limitations. My voice won't be heard. <coughs> okay. So, oh. then you go, well, as far as the statute of limitations, there was 20 years, but okay. now it's right. open again. They can't okay. prosecute. Um, I have been guided and I've been told and led to believe that as far as the statute of limitations is concerned, uh, that has fallen away. I know that at the time, it was 21 years when I started trying to, um, to to speak about all of this. Um, already I had had certain people saying that there's the statute of limitations is in place, etc. Uh, when I went to lay the charge now, I was quite um, um, strongly, it was mentioned that I, should, I have nothing to worry about because as far as they know, it's fallen away, particularly in the UK, regarding uh, Scotland Yard Operation Nutri, where they've had to really lift all of this regarding um, the, the, the issue of helping them. It's, it, they, need, they need assistance to be able to expose a lot of these celebrities or high-ranking people, whether it's, it's politicians, the church, celebrities, whoever. So they needed to remove that. And as far as I'm, I'm made aware of, that it's, um, the charge has gone through. All right. We haven't said when you uh, laid the charge, so I'm gonna, you're going to start the sentence by saying, "I finally, you know, decided. I, I still have the pressure of protecting my family. Blah blah blah. But in August, yeah. So say it in your own words. I, my gut, my gut feel, drove me, instinctually to go and lay the charge. And as much as I needed to still and I still would like to protect the family um, and certain people around me um, in light of this case, I officially went and laid the charge at the end of last year. No, 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 no. Um, I want, you have to say the exact date. End of last year means after the Bill Cosby thing. We don't no. want, you didn't jump on the Bill <laughs> no, Cosby no, bandwagon. No, 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 this okay. was months before. Bill yeah. Cosby broke in late October, yeah. in August 27th, 19, uh, 2014, okay. I got the courage. The so just start the whole thing over again about protecting the parents okay. and all that. Um, Did you want, do you want it to slip out real quick while we're on a break? Okay. I won't see you anymore. Okay, we're rolling. Sorry. Big hug. Hey, Court, stop all right the back. Stop. stop cleaning. It's too noisy. Okay, you want um, Despite wanting to protect the family. I made my final decision August 27th, 2013 to go and officially lay the charge with the police despite wanting to protect my family, protect my friends and relevant people around me. I needed to do this and get it out of the way so that I could be able to breathe and speak. I needed to release this and the only way to do this was to go out and lay the charge. And on that evening of the 27th of August last uh, 2013, I called a captain at the police station who agreed for me to come down and meet at an arranged time and he took the statement from me under oath. The statement was taken under oath. So. Okay. I'm going to pause it.